We are in a climate emergency and we are very far from where we need to be. Welcome to the second Exponential Climate Action Summit. This decade is crucial for the future of us all. The outcome for humanity could actually spell disaster. There are no jobs on a dead planet. And that's why waiting is not an option. We're not recovering in a green way as we had hoped last Earth Day. Poor communities are the one really facing the biggest burden of climate effects. World Bank estimates that every year we need $4 trillion of capital in emerging and developing economies to pay for the mitigation and adaptation needs. Personally, I don't believe the fossil fuel industry should continue to be allowed to operate the way it's been operating for the last several decades. The vast majority of green products on the market today create new profits for investment firms that do absolutely nothing to fight climate change. We have to transform the 55% greenhouse gas reduction target that we now have at the European level. The declaration that we're getting from other countries, including Biden today, to half their emissions into action. So we need strong climate action from business. We need strong climate action from finance. I will encourage every company, every financial institution to join the Race to Zero immediately. Investing in a low carbon, a resilient economy is actually an enormous opportunity right now. The winners will be the ones creating positive impact. And what we do at Prime is we offer investment options in solar energy projects in emerging markets. So FinTech is helping resolve access issues for the financial excluded while addressing climate change issues at the same time. The key here is to put at least the same amount of determination behind actions to achieving this target as we do for major financial or business targets that the company is typically stared on. So we don't have time, but we do have solutions. When you scale this solution, in fact, we will save money. We will increase our productivity. It's a hundred trillion dollar plus economy, the greatest opportunities ever. That is how we change things together. Your opinions will also be a rating on our platform where those business and organizations that are doing good climate action will get a better climate score compared to the ones not doing enough. This is going to change how corporations compete. This top line is two to three hundred green growth companies that are delivering much better results while taking down our footprints. Young people have demonstrated that campaigns on the ground can actively shape where the money goes. We want to be the one, the provider, that shows to the company, its employees, that you can make a change with your savings. We now got 87 asset managers with $37 trillion of assets. That's more than a third of global assets committed to net zero by 2050, and 43 banks with $29 trillion. The drive to net zero is the growth story of the 21st century. And the time to act is now.